Good morning, champions. We know we haven't been doing a uh, a lot of uploading uh, last probably two weeks, truthfully. Uh, don't know if everybody knows this, but Eastern Kentucky was absolutely demolished with uh, one of the worst floods in the state history. So today we're going to do something just a little bit different. Uh, kind of, we're going to be all over the place. It's not a fishing video, so. But what, what Eastern Kentucky, Hazard, Whitesburg, Letcher County, Knott County, was absolutely wiped off the map by flood, and uh, hundreds of families lost everything. They're still without power. They're still without water. Uh, there's still people missing that family members just assume are are, are deceased. So our church wanted to do something to help those people. So we, we just had a little uh, thought that we'll try to scrounge up a little money uh, to try to help them in some way. And uh, we was gonna donate $500. Well, we asked another church we associate with, and they said, yeah, we'll help. And they handed us a thousand so. Not to be outdone not for to the cause. Not to be outdone by the cause. We said, well, if they're going to put up a thousand, we'll put up a thousand. Well, we sent out messages and we sent out requests asking for help, and several, several people stepped up. So today, uh, I'm going to I'm going to list somewhere in the video everybody who's helped and donated, but I, I can't think of them all right. But, but we have nearly, well, with the help of about six churches and 20, 25 individuals, we've raised $6,000 that we're gonna go spend to help these flood relief victims. And the reason we're doing this is not to brag on ourselves, but to let you know where your money's going so you can see what you've donated, what we're doing it for, and uh, passing it along, trying to help somebody, which is which is our duty. There's a little cartoon floating around that says when it, when it rains, it pours on poor people. And uh, I've lived here for 30 plus years and there's a lot of poor people uh, but I promise you you're not going to find the loving caring people up in the northern part of the state like the little idiot that published the cartoon so we're going to show you uh, what when it rains it pours looks like in real life uh, not only will it pour it may pour some blessings which is what we hope to do today but first we got to get us a U-Haul because my little truck just wouldn't hold it all. So we're going to go in here and get this U-Haul figured out. First person we got to thank for sure is Matt at Matt's P&C. Uh, we, did, we don't even have a way to get the supplies over to the victims. Uh, but he is uh, he's helping us out with a 26-foot U-Haul because that's how much stuff that we have and are going to get. Where are you from? <laughs> Where are you from? <laughs> No, no, I've already been bashing the idiot that put the little cartoon out. So. Yeah. We're here at the man's place that. Uh, Making it possible, really. Yeah, yeah. Partnered with Food City, done a lot of great stuff. So if you're in Harlan County and want to help people that's helping other people, visit Max Feed and Seed. Repay the favor. It's like Kevin. Is this Good thing good? Good gas mileage. Is it four wheel coffee. drive? Good to go, man. Yep. All righty. No, that's uh, better coming last night too about all this. Yeah. He said, I know you ain't got time to go. Right. But you're collecting. So he set me up one down at UPS. So nice. When I get them, we fill them pup trailers up. Oh, wow. 
Nice. Yeah. So, That's I had a woman come from uh, Indiana. Oh, wow. She said, that, you know, what she's from here. Yeah. And I think she's from up your way. A uh, single parent is going in you haul come down on a vacation. Oh, wow. And, well, she wouldn't want to do that. She's going to come down and help, bring some stuff. She's right. got a Jeep. Right. She said she put on her friends list, and she said they started coming in, and her yard is filled up with stuff. Couches, washers, dryers, food. Anything. She said, I can't put that in my Jeep. <laughs> so <laughs> You don't find that anywhere. <clears throat> no, but just because she was you know, from up there, you haul wouldn't work with her. Yeah. What I do. But right. that that's me. If you want right. to be that me, that's you. That's but right. anyway, I said you get you out here, I'll get you back. Yeah. Good deal, brother. So appreciate it. Thank you for all you've been you. doing. Appreciate but, it. Yeah. We got so much stuff donated and so much money that my little truck and my little trailer couldn't haul it. So we got the twenty six foot U Haul, the big daddy, and that will carry the load. It will have a major load in the driver's seat <laughs> right here here she be the vessel the up top jh oh yeah 5537 i'm nervous already boy she's a begging big v10 super duty so here's our here's our vessel she be an absolute monster 26 foot. Here we go. She's a bacon. Oh yeah. We're starting here. Because we've had, who's it, Cranks Creek Survival Center or something? Cranks Creek Survival Center? Center? Whatever. Blank Creek Survival Center. He just had a... Donated a bunch of blankets. <laughs> <laughs> he just had a Sorry stroke. for all the guys that's got an impediment that just, it came out. I'm he not making fun. He had a stroke. <laughs> uh, and so we've got... <laughs> toilet paper, canned food. This is stuff that's just been donated. This ain't even... This is nothing to do with the money that was give. This is just this is extra stuff. Blankets. Every one of these are blankets. Everything down here is blankets. We gotta get her loaded up. What are you doing? Are you? That has got to be the worst way possible to do that. <laughs> I'm going to have to get paid. Where did these come from? Cranks Creek, I think. Cranks Creek too? Preparing the breach. Fairview, North Carolina. This is like a, kind of like a uh, disaster relief. It's full of stuff for babies. So, well that's awesome. Snazzy bags too. America. So, here we are. We've got this. This stuff here was all donated by the Cranks Creek, uh, Cranks Creek Survival Center, Cranks Creek Emergency uh, Squad. It's, it's who donated all this stuff, and it is it is super nice. You've got these; uh, these are like baby. They're all for babies. If it's for a girl, it's got the pink. If it's for a boy, it's got the blue. I know that's probably not politically correct, but I love it, uh, especially with those American flag bags. Mm all of this was donated this has nothing to do with uh the money that we've got we still have to go to sam's club and spend 
six thousand six to seven thousand dollars so these blankets are super nice it, and it ain't like the fleece it's the soft microfiber really nice mops all these are queen size blankets little grills these people are uh these people are basically homeless so they're living in tents and stuff so those little portable grills are great got a little bit of canned food uh but that that is that's what's what we're going to get a lot of so we there's there's a little bit of everything flashlights and batteries cleaning supplies uh personal hygiene diapers huge huge boxes of diapers tammy myers also donated a bunch of this stuff uh I, she she runs like a little uh it's not little it's actually huge a indoor flea market kind of deal in harlan so she donated a ton of stuff so we want to appreciate Cranks Creek and we want to appreciate uh, Tammy for donating all this stuff. We're going to get it over there. We still have to go to Sam's Club where the majority of that purchase will probably be food items and uh, outdoor uh, camping gear. But yeah, we put, we put a little den in her. On the road again. Appreciate you. Okay, this blessing just keeps on getting Does bigger. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Larry Hubs over here at the what is this gas station even called? We always just call it Hubs's Riverside Metal and Fuel. Larry Hubs at Riverside Metal and Fuel just donated us all the gas, a, a free, absolutely free fill up in this u-haul and i i really i hate to see what this is gonna be but thank you larry we we stop here when we go fishing all the time and uh he's a good guy he, great guy all we did was say would you want to donate some fuel and he looked at woodrow and said fill it up so man that's great and these people don't do this for no pad on the back this is just what country folks do and we're doing this to have a video uh to help show our children at the church and this is what this is what you do when somebody's in need you you help them and you don't publish a snotty cartoon i'm gonna i'm gonna bash this guy all day should be fired should never be able to draw again like i'm i'll sign a petition to have his finger removed so he can't draw no more <laughs> is that too far <laughs> keeps on climbing this is awesome, man. Everybody's giving. Larry, try to try to call out everybody that's helped, but I know I'll forget somebody, so don't get tore up if I do. There she is. That filled her up. Thank you, Larry. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. We have arrived at the club, and we got the whole crew now. Every one of these. We're about to load up. Walmart is really uh, sketchy on recording in here, so I'm going to have to sneak this in. And then we'll pick back up once we get through the securities. Oh, yeah. Everybody with the big cart. Everybody. Look at them. This is awesome. So we're here, we're about to get it. Some of the things we're getting, spray bottles, tarp. This guy's got to shut up. <laughs> so we're not nearly done yet. But this is just a little bit of the stuff that we've got. T-shirts, women's underwear, socks, kids' socks, cleaning supplies, dog food, mops, towels, tarps, totes, laundry, tarps, kids snacks, Pediasure, canned food, spam, tuna, couple of uh, shop bags. Two more buggies, we'll be done. Here they come. Yes, ma'am. It is. Probably six different churches. Bam. Look, our right, Woodrow's got the heavy load. <laughs> Number two. Number three. We've had to recruit some employees to help us. Kayla coming in. Was it number four? Azra about to wipe the pole out because he's a terrible driver. 
wrong with you, boy? Green bean coming in. Oh, thank you. And Stacy, the caboose. <laughs> now I'm gonna have to go get this receipt. The flashlights? It is loaded. The U-Haul right right. uh -huh. is loaded. Canned food, weenie beanies, chips, spam, mini sausage. Well, that's what a lot of people was bringing, which is great, but we tried to yeah. get things that... This thing is packed. More chips, socks, underwear, uh, bags. $200 worth of batteries. Bags for children, batteries, totes, dog food, cat food, tractor bags, white t-shirts, towels, tarps, rags. Uh, milk for children. She is loaded. Huh? Now we're headed to Lowe's. We gotta buy shovels, buckets, and box fans, and possibly look for some mold killer. You have to, you have to crawl under there, Snookums. <laughs> He's not filming. Don't mind if you think he was filming something like that catch you at a vulnerable moment moment in film we wouldn't do that you just need to shut up yeah, you can't talk it. i had no sleep it's, what's crawling on. it's a labor of love get in there deep I see what's crawling it's keila it's in the floor <laughs> tell them say you wrote killer ain't working guys <laughs> is that all they got yes. you did great you don't want to tell the people anything we're here at Lowe's. Dedication. We've already got the box fans loaded up and we're getting the cleaners here. So this will, I think we're gonna get some buckets. They needed buckets and. We didn't get brooms. So get yeah. Brooms and buckets. Squeegees. Yeah, she did say squeegees. I don't see nothing else that says mold and mildew. Okay. We'll hit you back here in a minute. Mom? Look at all this baby stuff, formulas, Pedialites. Wipes, diapers. This whole gym is loaded. Women's hygiene products. This is amazing that people give like this. Dog food. We got your pups some food. Uh, cleaning stuff. All the cleaning stuff. Gloves. Flashlights. The chart. Yeah. Did you say that's all oh, iPhone bag. chargers yes. and stuff? That's amazing. Buckets. We brought some buckets. Buckets. We brought. 
toilet paper. <laughs> Look at all the water, guys. As much of this as you see, they say as much as a third of this will be given out in one day's time. There's so many people in need. And one thing we do want to reiterate is a lot of times when disaster happens, a lot of times people will help right off the bat. And then as things happen elsewhere, the ones that's still in trouble get looked over. So be sure to remember these guys. They, they do need your thoughts. They do need your prayers. But faith without works is dead. So do something for them. Everybody can't give a lot. We've had $1,000 donations. We've had $20 donations. Had $1 donations, but it all adds up. And it'll all help. We're so thankful for everyone that helped donate do what little bit we could do. And we couldn't have done all that we did without the help from everybody. That's it, folks. That is the day of service. Everybody that you saw in this video took off work. They took time out of their day. Again, we want to thank everybody. If you donated a dollar, if you donated a thousand, uh, it was roughly, I think, all together. Uh, total donations was maybe what about sixty-six hundred dollars or something. Uh, Matt at Matt's Feed and Seed made it possible for us to even get this U-Haul. Uh, several churches stepped up big, and we appreciate that. We appreciate our own church and the people that came and did all this. We City of Everett's Tourism yeah. donated a great amount. We appreciate that. Giving back to the community. Not your, uh, not your typical fishing video that you see, but this is so much more important than any fish you'll catch, any little trip, any little joke you ever hear me tell. This is people helping people, and I hope the little cartoonist sees the error of his ways. This ain't just poor people dying, poor people suffering. This is poor people helping poor people, so we appreciate everybody. We're gone.